Welcome to our video lesson on secure software requirements. Today, we'll dive into the fundamental concepts and detailed aspects of defining, analyzing, and implementing secure software requirements. Our focus will be on key elements like functional requirements, role and user definitions, use cases, and secure coding standards. By the end of this session, you'll have a solid understanding of how to establish robust security requirements for your software development projects. Software Security Requirements Let's start by discussing why requirements are so important. Think of requirements as the blueprint for your software. They guide the design, building, and testing processes. Managing these requirements early in the software development lifecycle, or CDLC, is crucial. If we have to go back and add new requirements later, it can cause significant issues, including rework, delays, and increased costs. Next, we have functional requirements. These describe how the software is expected to function. They can come from various sources, like business needs, IT operations, or security standards. For instance, we might have requirements for the deployment platform, database, disaster recovery, and business continuity planning, or infrastructure. Moving on to role and user definitions. These define who will use what functionality of the software. At a high level, we start with generic definitions, which are then refined to specify user roles and permissions. This is essential for creating detailed use case definitions. Now, let's talk about objects and activities. Objects are the items users interact with, like files, database records, systems, or program elements. Activities, or actions, are the permitted events users can perform on these objects, such as creating, reading, updating, or deleting them. To manage these interactions, we use a tool called the Subject-Object Activity Matrix. Use cases are specific examples of intended system behavior. They are particularly useful for clarifying complex or ambiguous requirements. Use cases are typically depicted graphically, with actors representing users and system functions representing activities. Sequencing and timing are critical to managing issues like race conditions and infinite loops. Race conditions occur when multiple processes interact with the same object simultaneously, leading to conflicts. Infinite loops are caused by complex conditional logic with unhandled states, which can cause a program to become non-responsive. Lastly, we have secure coding standards. These are language-specific rules and recommended practices that ensure secure programming. For example, SUT has published secure coding standards for languages like C, C++, and Java. These standards emphasize error trapping, logging, and secure management of deployment configurations. Operational and Deployment Requirements Software must adhere to enterprise technology deployment standards, which cover platforms, operating systems, database servers, web servers, and more. This ensures interoperability and maintainability within the enterprise infrastructure. Systems should be secure by design, by default, and in deployment. The deployment configuration must maintain security. One way to achieve this is by using a secure continuous integration CI and continuous delivery CD pipeline. Connecting the dots, creating a comprehensive list of requirements is crucial. These should encompass security, functional, and operational aspects. Regular refinement and addition to these lists ensure they remain complete. Threat modeling is another essential aspect. It helps identify and mitigate known and expected threats, contributing valuable insights to defining security requirements. Thank you for joining this lesson on secure software requirements. Understanding and implementing these requirements is crucial for developing robust and secure software systems. Apply these principles in your projects to enhance security throughout the CDLC. This concludes our lesson on secure software requirements. I hope you found this session informative and valuable. See you in the next lesson.